We got our new fridge. It's a pretty big upgrade for us. Yes, guys, the very first thing that we changed out of our RV was the fridge. Ours had the original three-way RV fridge from a factory, but we knew since the beginning that we wanted to get rid of it. And our choice for the new fridge was to do a regular residential fridge that you can get from your local walmart home depot or Lowe's. and contrary to what a lot of people may think in regards to using residential fridges in an rv the residential ones will work just as good as an rv fridge and it will be way less expensive to maintain it and also to replace in case that it breaks down that was one of the reasons why we decided to go with a residential fridge instead of an RV fridge. And yes, guys, the only insulation that was around it, the fridge, was just this layer of reflective that they had put in place. If you have been wondering whether you can replace your RV fridge with a regular residential one, but you're not sure if your RV has the requirements to hold the connection 24-7, you can leave us a comment in the in the comment section with your questions and concerns or reach out to us through Facebook or Instagram. We are Javianelli Travels on all platforms and you can ask us about that and uh, we can let you know what we have about the batteries and all of that. By this moment, we only had the batteries that came with the RV so nothing had been done there and we were able to install the fridge from day one up until we later on changed to solar and as it is now we have not had any issues with our fridge either turning off or having any sort of malfunction and that has been working for over a year already so again if you have any questions let us know in the comment section and we will definitely get back to you after getting the old fridge back we just made sure that we cleaned all of the area and made sure to to check if there was any water coming inside again water damage is very common in rvs so we kept double and triple checking along the way we had to remove this top part of the previous cabinet so that we could fit in the new fridge and the way that we selected the new fridge was just based on the size so that we could fit it inside of the already made cabinet we did not want to have to remove any structure inside of the rv in order to fit in the new fridge so all that we did was just take our measurements, we went inside of Home Depot and we got the closest one to those measurements. 
from there we just put additional layers of insulation so that this would insulate properly as well as it would help to keep the fridge in place so we didn't want to leave any floating room around the fridge that helps us to keep it in place pretty much and we were at this point we were right outside of home depot because if we had to make an exchange or if something came up we could simply take it out and go to the store and return it Putting the new fridge in place was a little bit tricky as we had to figure out the way to make it go in as even as possible because we wanted to make it as tight as possible. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, again, the reason we added the additional insulation was to insulate, but also to make the space as tight as possible and as close as possible to the new fridge. This one was a little bit smaller than the original, so we had to like play around with the area and make it fit. And if you want to replace your fridge, you have two ways of doing it. You can do it the way that we did it, on which we pick the fridge as close to the space that we had inside of the cabinet as possible, so that we didn't have to change any of the walls or anything like that. Or you can do as we did for our last classy that we did a renovation for on which we removed the entire fridge cabinet and we built it from zero. I am going to leave you guys the link in the description to that video so you guys can see how we did it. Um, either way, they are both doable and workable and however, it just depends on the cost and the structure that you already have in place. For our RV, we were able to do it this way but maybe for a different rv you would have to remove the entire structure and do it from zero so it just depends on what you want to do with the space and what you already have in, in the space and all of that it is so relative to the type of rv that you have and how it is built in but at least here you can see two different examples of how you can replace the rv fridge for a regular residential one as I said before, I'm going to leave you guys the link in the description to that video of the Class C Itasca where we built the entire cabinet for the new fridge. Something else that we added later on were the latches for the doors to stay closed while on the road. We highly recommend that you do this for your fridge. That way things don't come out flying every time that you travel. We have seen people that recommend you do like some sort of 
tie wrapping and inventions, but we prefer something that just stays in place. Initially, we had plastic ones that are sold for kid safety, and those you can find at our Home Depot. But we realized that with time, you would have to replace them because since they're plastic ones, they tend to break, so they don't last as long. Recently, we changed that to small latches that are made out of um, aluminum, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to leave the link to both in the description. You can uh, do either one and uh, this will definitely keep your doors shut at all times. you guys so the fridge is finally where it belongs um, this is a magic chef 10.1 cubic feet refrigerator that we just got from Home Depot we're currently outside of Home Depot we just installed it Javi put some extra insulation up here because we had the extra space and also um for the fridge not to come off we're eventually going to be covering all of this with a nice frame and this is how it looks on the inside this is definitely a big upgrade compared to the small fridge that we had in our van um quick tip leave these tapes on we did the same for our van fridge the reason we did that is because if you take it off I'll show you if you take them off then you have this situation going on and even though when you put food it will weigh it down to where it will be harder for the tray to move I mean you will still have that going on for you so yeah we don't want to do that while we're on the road so I'll just leave this on for now. I'll probably be switching this blue tape for clear tape, just so that it looks better. But uh, we already, you know, did all of the connections and everything. Um, this particular one, we didn't realize that it doesn't have a light in the freezer, but that's fine. We have plenty of light in our new kitchen, but uh, yeah. It looks perfectly fine I'll put the measurements and all of the additional information on the description below um, and yeah it's already on hopefully it will be fine for us again as I said before plenty of space and this is definitely a big upgrade for us I'm still trying to get used to the idea of having more space in my kitchen but yeah it looks perfectly fine as I said leave this on or replace them with clear tape these are honestly a lifesaver nothing will come off and they last for a really long time the ones in our small fridge for the van they were still the same I mean since we put the fritz the freezer in the van the the fridge in the van um, until the day we got rid of it it was the same tape but in that case they were uh, light gray so they didn't really bother me so much as to changing it for clear tape but in this case yeah I don't want to see this blue thing all over plus for these trays they didn't have any tape on them so I'll still need to put some tape so I'll just change everything I'll show you guys later how it looks but yeah that's a quick tip something that I'll keep doing for as long as I keep getting new freezers, new fridges in moving cars and moving vehicles because that works. Also, we picked it in black because we already had this microwave and convection oven situation that was already in the RV and it works. Um, I still have to figure it out how to use it because I have never used a combination microwave before 
So if you have any instructions, any tips or anything to say about this one in particular, I mean, I don't know how good or bad it is. It is a Panasonic Dimension 4 microwave convection. The Genius, I guess that's the model. I don't know. I still have to like clean it up on the inside. And yes, we left this in because otherwise they'll be flying all over. But yeah, it's all matchy matchy for now. Black and black. And I really like how this looks. And yeah, um, this is a 10.1 cubic feet. I think I already said that. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, we still have to put some trimming all around it so it looks better. So you can see there's like several issues going on with the looks of it. There used to be a draw drawer down here. So all of that we have to fix. I don't really know. I mean, I guess the um, it, the wood is in a good state, but I don't know. We'll figure something out there. Javi put this uh, two-inch foam, purple foam, for additional security and insulation, especially so it doesn't move out. Believe me, it won't come off of there because we had a really hard time putting it in. So that's the update for the first upgrade that we did to our new home.